Hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Smith. I'm the owner of West London Wine School, South London Wine School here in London, the United Kingdom. Also Streatham Wine House, a bar in London. And uh, I'm here to show you a little bit about the great varieties on Fiano. This is um, our intermediate version, as it says at the bottom of the slide there. This is ideal for those of you who are taking WSET level two or equivalent. Um, so this is a, a more basic version of a Fiano. Okay, so um, let's go through a bit about what Fiano's about, and um, then we'll look at where we find it and what it's like. Very short video. It is from the mountainous region of Campania. So Fiano comes from the southern part of Italy. Uh, so this has Napoli or Naples as its capital on the coast. Uh, and as you go inland, Fiano finds its real home. So this is towards the Apennines and the mountainous parts of Campania. Um, specifically around places like Tufo, Avellino, Torrazzi, and all of those areas in the sort of um, Erpinia sort of area of, uh, of Campania. It is um, famous, of course, for Fiano di Avellino. Avellino, gorgeous place, um, um, which is located in that sort of inland area of Campania. Famous for the fictional mob uh, family, the Sopranos. Uh, but this is a, a DOCG, a Garantita, so uh, the highest level of quality you can get for Italian wine. So Fiano crafts this from this area. Um, it's a wine that has medium acidity. This does vary, but it tends to say uh, medium acidity. It does in your textbooks for WSET, but it can be higher than that depending on the production. Um, they tend to be sort of medium and full-bodied, quite a roundness to them, certainly with their fruit and potentially the winemaking techniques behind them. Um, most of the winemaking, however, will be stainless steel fermentation. So this is inert. So grapes are harvested. They are fermented in stainless steel or maybe concrete uh, where there is no oxidation or very little oxidation. And this creates a more fresher, uh, livelier style. Um, Fiano has made a comeback thanks to a guy called Antonio Mastrobedino who uh, kind of revived these native varieties here in a country which was very much struggling after the Second World War. Um, and people kind of looked at the, um, uh, uh, the kind of uh, simpler grape varieties that are easy to produce, things like Trebbiano. But Fiano has made a comeback in the last 20, 30 years or so. Sometimes some of the winemakers will, even in the stainless steel, or if it is in, in a bit of oak, will uh, sub, uh, subject it to a little bit of lees, that's the dead yeast cells, to give it a little bit more texture and roundness, and that adds a bit of body and a bit of weight. That makes them a bit more fuller as a style. Um, but most of them are drunk quite young. They have good fruit compounds behind them, uh, and uh, often a little bit of herbaceous and floral notes, um, and they can develop wonderful sort of hazelnutty characters as, as they age, and, and the best uh, the best can age for Fiano di Avellino. Uh, so where where is it? So as I mentioned uh, before, we have um, what's called the Apennines. That's kind of running uh, through this part down here. Okay, uh, so this kind of area. So as you can see, as we head from the coast, which is, as I just mentioned earlier, Napoli, uh, which is uh, which is over this side of things. Uh, you head this way into the inland area, and this is where you find this round area here, which is the the Avellino area. So this is Fiano di Avellino. This is the only one you need to know for Fiano, Fiano di Avellino, and it is a DOCG. It is based on volcanic soils. So this is quite a volcanic area and limestone, making quite mineral laden styles, as mentioned before. And here are the styles. So it is um, relatively complex because there are a range of styles, but generally we say kind of green apple characteristic. Um, we get to this kind of white peachy note that comes through as well, certainly in the lower yielded styles. Um, sometimes there's this stony mineral character due to the volcanic and limestone soils. Um, you can often get some floral notes, uh, things like jasmine and acacia and white blossom. Um, it's also a little bit minty or fern or um, that kind of little bit of herbal fennel characteristic you can find as well. And with age, it gets toasty, honeyed and also kind of hazelnutty. 
so the very best ones that do have that ability for aging will have those uh, those compounds and those characteristics. Medium to high acidity, as mentioned down here, and then medium to full bodied, as we talked about earlier as well. So that is the introduction to Fiano for the level two. It's very basic, it's a very short part in your textbook. If you have any comments or questions, please do get in touch at Wine with Jimmy at West London Wine, which is the wine school in Fulham in London, South London Wine in Greenwich or in Streatham uh, in London, and then also my wine bar, Streatham Wine House, which is a really fun, funky place to come and drink wine. So next time you're in London, please come and see us for a glass or a class or a bottle or whatever it may be. Um, thank you very much. If, by the way, you want more information on Fiano, please do check out our advanced version, which is ideal for those of you taking WSET level three, level four and above and all equivalents around the world. It goes into a lot more detail. Thank you very much.